history that we have that's written is usually the history about the important people, the well-known people. And a cemetery like this shows us everyday life and what it was like for the majority of these early Philadelphians. And we're only going to get that information from the remains themselves. Okay. have about a dozen students here plus uh, the three of us acting as kind of supervisors, professors uh, to this class. And we're getting through about, about two coffins a day. We're going through the process of excavating the internal components of each coffin to try to essentially release the bones from the matrix that they're in and then also recover any kind of artifacts. I mean, it's broken. I can't see the full word, but I see the hurt. As we were working on this site, the burials were very haphazard. People are stacked on top of each other. Some smaller coffins are wedged in between larger ones. So it's, it's really kind of this elaborate jigsaw puzzle. And we just don't have the records to be able to say that this particular spot was reserved for this particular person. So Jerry's here from Connecticut and he's going to x-ray the coffins. He has constructed this really amazing rig that he's going to use to do that. And the goal is we're trying to get a better idea of the position of the individuals in the coffins. In a perfect world, we want to excavate each coffin and lay all the bones out beautifully, but sometimes that's not always possible. Sometimes the soil that it's in means that we have to take out one bone at a time. So being able to x-ray the coffins, we can get a much better idea of what's going on inside before we start doing our side of the work. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't look like they're in any big clumps. Jerry, this is fantastic because I would have had us digging so slowly <laughs> through here. Yeah. Uh, I would have been worried about hitting them. And as you guys heard me say, they might just be like dust at this point trying to get an idea of who these individuals were. So the very basics, are they male, female, their age at death, um, any signs on their bones that might tell us what their lifestyle was like. Well, based on the eruption, it's probably about, probably about six um, with the maxilla, because that, that, this is the first permanent molar that's coming mm -hmm. in there. The real goal at the end of this project is to rebury all these individuals in Mount Moriah Cemetery. So part of our job is to basically consolidate all these coffins into a much smaller space. We have found so many interesting things. I mean, every coffin is a surprise. Um, whether they're juveniles or whether they're uh, very robust men that look like they did some kind of heavy lifting when they were alive, every coffin has a story to tell.